Guys, welcome back to Blue Collar Bass and TV. Today, we have something special for you. We're doing a review on the Bass Pro Shop exclusive Abu Garcia Roxani. Guys, this thing has an awesome color scheme. I think it is a great offering by Abu Garcia. So please stay tuned for the video. I'm gonna tell you all about this thing. Guys, if you like these rod and reel reviews, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on that notification bell and please stay tuned for this video. All right guys, so we're looking at the Abu Garcia Roxani. This is a Bass Pro Shop exclusive and they only offer it in the tan and the blue. But guys, this is the same exact rod and reel as the Abu Garcia Zeta. Okay, and that comes in the army green. So if you see the Zeta or you see this, guys, just look at it the same. It is the exact same rod and reel combo, okay? Like most manufacturers, you know, let's say Walmart, anywhere else, they make exclusive rod and reels just for those companies. Okay, so where can you buy this? You can only buy this at Bass Pro Shop. But like I said, you can pick up the Zeta pretty much anywhere else. Uh, I think I've seen these maybe on eBay as well, you know, folks reselling them or whatever. I actually picked this up off of a Facebook Marketplace and I got a killer deal on this. Guys, I got this for 50 bucks. This MSRP on this is $199. So $200 combo. If you can pick one up for 50 bucks, that is a steal. And it's pretty much brand new. It even had the tag still on it. I actually took it off, but excellent this deal. Real? is a low profile reel, just like anything else you'd expect from Abu Garcia in this time era. The gear ratio is a seven one to one. You can see it right here, seven one to one. That says that you can pull in 29 inches of line or 74 centimeters of line with every single turn of this reel. It says that the spool capacity with regular mono or fluorocarbon is 10 pound test. You can put 135 yards of line. With 20 pound braid, you can do 145 yards. Abu Garcia also advertises you can do 14 pound test all the way up to 30 pound test line. Obviously give or take with the braid. The max drag we have is gonna be 20 pounds of carbon matrix drag that they offer. So we have a total of 11 bearings with 10 being regular ball bearings and one roller bearing. And guys, again, the MSRP on this is $199.99 or $200. Bucks. Guys, looking at the reel itself, it has this nice tan color. You know, it kind of reminds me of the military. You know, we have a lot of paint jobs like this. One thing that I expected out of this reel, but I didn't uh, notice until after I got it, this does not offer an aluminum frame. You know, if we're looking at the Revo X here, it actually has an aluminum frame, which I prefer. But then again, you know, a lot of lose reels, they have a solid graphite frame. Guys, this uh, looks very similar to the Revo X. It has some little carbon fiber, you know, accents here around the drag. But this does have more premium components, I believe. Now the star drag is nice and aluminum, whereas the Revo X here, that's a piece of plastic. Okay, so a little bit better components, I believe. The handle, I was looking at both. The handle itself is actually the same as on the Revo X. The knobs are actually different. These have the Abu Garcia EVA foam knobs, which it's a very hard, firm EVA foam. I'm not a big fan of EVA, EVA foam knobs, but it's what it is, guys. Uh, you know, some people love them. I actually like the Revo X knobs. These are actually my favorite knobs made by any manufacturer. I don't know, they just have an awesome feel to them. Guys, the worm gear looks, you know, as expected. It looks the same as pretty much any other reel that you see. So this does have positive audible clicks for the drag and also the spool tensioner. You can hear that. I prefer that just about on any reel that I have. If we're looking at the spool here itself, this spool is a very nice piece of machined aluminum. Okay, it actually has the lightning 
cut so it makes the spool lighter. It's actually gonna turn a little bit better and it just looks premium, okay? There's not much play in the spool, so that's always nice. Okay, it looks pretty much like a Revo X. Okay, if you're looking at the side plate here, the side plates are graphite. The whole reel is graphite. The only difference here, if we take the side plate off, this side plate actually just comes straight out and pops right off. Some people like that, some people don't. I don't really care. I haven't had any issues with you know the latch or anything. But this does have those 10 magnetic brakes. And just like any other bait caster, it has the magnetic braking system on it. The Revo X only has five. So you're getting a little bit more braking action with this Roxani, which is kind of cool. That I guess you you would expect that for an extra of 50 or 60 bucks. So guys, this does have the internal centrifugal braking system as well. So a lot of more premium reels actually have this. So, I mean, that's what you'd expect out of this if you're gonna pay 200 bucks. But you just adjust these little pieces in here. You push them either in to turn it on or pull it out to turn it off. So you can adjust all four of those. And what that's gonna do is push against that center piece right here and slow your reel down or slow the spool down, you know, when you cast it. So a nice little feature, I'm, I don't really care either way. You know, I've been using just the regular magnetic braking system for years now, you know, on more budget friendly rods. And, you know, I don't really need this, but you know, it's extra way to dial in your reel even more. So if you're a tournament angler and you really want everything dialed in just perfect, you know, this might be for you. As the spool comes out nice and easy, and that's what it looks like. A very nice little spool. Doesn't really weigh much at all. Nice little bearings on it. That's kind of what the graphite frame looks like, if you were wondering. And that side plate, you know, just pops right on. And then you better lock it down or you're going to lose it. But I don't think that'd be an issue. Okay, the thumb bar is really nice. You know, I've found that Abu Garcia does a really nice job with their spool release and thumb bar. I haven't really ever used an Abu Garcia that didn't get completely engaged when I hit that thumb bar. Now, a lot of lose reels and other, you know, they're more budget friendly. I haven't had any, op I haven't had any issues out of my tournament MB speed spool. Guys, this thing is rock solid. This is also a a more premium reel that I got for 50 bucks. But guys, some of those lower end reels, a lot of times when you go to hit that thumb bar, you won't be completely engaged. And when you go casting, you know, you feel it, you feel those gears all clashing. So uh, just something to keep in mind. I would prefer to go ahead and spend the extra money to get something nice like this. Okay. And maybe not 200 bucks, maybe you opt for the Revo X which in my opinion is probably, it is just as good as the Roxani. And guys, I got this at Walmart for 125 bucks. Okay, so just another option out there. And I'm gonna give you some reasons why the Revo might be even better than the Roxani. Okay, well, I'm gonna kind of break that down once we get to the actual rod. That's kind of where the difference lies. Okay guys, that covers pretty much all the real components. Like we said, it's a graphite frame. Revo X has an aluminum frame. And guys, I forgot to mention this whole reel weighs 9.5 ounces. So a little over half a pound, which is not bad. And it probably, you know, the graphite frame probably helps out with that. So guys, we just went over the specs and the components of the reel. Now, if you're gonna buy this in a combo, now we're gonna talk about the rod itself. So when we're looking at the rod here, it kind of looks like a Revo X rod. It's got pretty much the same travel pattern on it. It has the same EVA foam adjustment knob right here, or adjustment piece. It's kind of got the same reel seat, it's got the same trigger. The difference lies with this wind dry tack grip. 
Okay, this is a nice little grip. Now, it's a, it's, it's a kind of different feel than most of the wind grips, which is kind of cool. Okay, it's not bad to have something a little different. It also has the same as the Revo X, the butt EVA foam piece here. Guys, this offers the same Abu Garcia hook keeper that I freaking love. Abu Garcia calls this the Texas rig hook keeper. Right here on the Evo X, or Revo X, I have a Texas rig, Senko. Look at that. Perfect. It's out of the way. You're not going to get hooked. You know, if you grab this out of your car, or truck, whatever, out of your boat, you're not going to grab a hook. What I don't like about Luz, look at this. Their hook keeper is down below the handle. I can't tell you how many times I've had, let's say, a crankbait or a jerkbait tied on, and I go to grab the handle, and I get stuck by a freaking hook. Actually, the other day, I had a crankbait tied on this, just bought this rod, and I went to go grab it, and the crankbait hook was actually stuck into the handle. So I don't know why Luz does this, I love Lou's rods. I hate their hook keepers. I'm sure there's probably some reason why they have them there. I don't know. It might be a mystery, but I do not like that setup. Love the rods, not the setup. But this hook keeper is awesome. So, okay, this rod is a seven foot medium heavy action. They also offer this in a 7.3 rod okay they also the actions they offer a heavy a medium heavy and a medium version of the rod guys these line guides are really nice they look like zirconium guides but abu garcia says they are stainless steel guides i think they're just polished really well my camera will focus because they look like they're epoxied in really good and they're very sturdy looking you know, most of the time, you only have this type of guide at the very bottom, but it actually has two, and then the singles. And one good thing about this rod is if you're planning on throwing braid, this one actually has the bigger guides. So that braid, where you connect the braid to a fluorocarbon leader or whatever, that knot isn't gonna get hung up. For example, this Luz mock rod has the microwave guides. They're really small guides, if you're throwing braid, and heavier braid that is, and you have a bigger knot, that knot's gonna get hung up on those little micro guides and it's not gonna be able to cast as good. So, you know, if you're looking at doing that, this Roxani is gonna be a good option for you. Guys, the graphite blank that this Roxani is made out of, it's a 24 ton graphite rod blank. And to be honest with you, I did not expect a $200 rod to come with a 24 ton rod blank. Okay, if you don't know anything about rod blanks, 24 ton is like the bottom of the barrel. It is the budget option when it comes to rod blanks. Guys, this Revo X comes with a 30 ton rod blank for 125 bucks, which is two steps up from what this 24 ton graphite rod is. Okay, comparing that over to the Luz rods, this Mach Pro rod is their top of the line rod. It comes with an IM8 rod blank. Guys, a 24 ton rod blank would be equal to their IM6 rod blank, which is their most budget friendly option. Once again, I was not expecting that. So that's kind of a little bit of a turn off with this rod, but this rod is still awesome. You know, honestly, the 24 ton blank is gonna be more durable. It's not gonna be as light, but I honestly can't tell much of a difference. Okay, it has a nice reel seat here, skeletized. You can actually feel the rod blank. And honestly, you can tell the size difference here. This rod piece is a lot smaller than this one. That's because this is just a tube this is epoxied into it, but guys, this still will give you a better feel and sensitivity. Because I like the Abu Garcia trigger, and it just makes uh, 
you know, fishing out on the water a lot better. It kind of just fits right in my hand real good. And we'll see what it looks like together as a combo. Nice little low profile reel. You can palm it really nice. Cause this, this reel is really smooth. I mean, I guess you'd expect that out of a $200 combo. But yeah, looks pretty nice. I forgot to mention, this rod does come with a moderate fast action tip. Okay, so it doesn't bend at the very tip. It actually bends down a little bit more, which is awesome. I like a moderate fast. I don't like a super fast, okay, or a, a regular fast or whatever. But guys, this is a rock solid combo. If you're looking for something that's you know under 200 bucks or right there at it, this could be a good option for you. And I think it looks awesome. And this is also a one piece rod, and which is to be expected out of something at this price point. You don't see a lot of two piece rods at this price point. It just allows for you know a less sensitive rod. Also, it allows for a, a weak point and that rod could break, you know, if you're hooking into a big fish. All right, guys, we're gonna get this spooled up and then we're gonna actually go do some casts with it out on the water and actually show you guys how this rod performs. We're gonna do some pitching. We're also gonna do some normal side casts and overhead casts. And we're gonna show you how this performs and how smooth this actually is. All right, let's do some casts with this Abu Garcia Roxani and let's see how it performs. First, I'm gonna start out by just pitching and guys, if you have your settings set right, the magnetic brakes are set to right between maximum and minimum. I find that for most baits, that's kind of where you stay. You don't really need to go anything other than that. Okay, I'm gonna try a longer side cast here. That's just straight right where I was aiming. Very smooth with the braid on here. Reel that back in. And guys, you can hold it several different ways. You know, if you want to palm it like this, some people feel the line with their finger as they're reeling in or trying to fish whatever bait. Some people put it on their second finger, whatever. Whatever's comfortable for you. Right, let's do a straight overhead cast. Once again, super smooth with that braid on. And guys, I have a big leader tied onto this, and that knot slides right through those line guides with like butter almost. It's not getting hung up at all. And guys, retrieving this in with that seven one to one gear ratio, it's doing very well. You know, it's pulling in that 20 some inches every single uh, turn of that reel. All right, let's do some flipping and pitching with it. Guys, with the same settings that I was using to make those long casts, I have it still set like that. So to flip and pitch, I just put the bait around where the reel is. I'm just flipping it out there. Seems very, very good. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, it is 200 bucks. So, I mean, you kind of get what you pay for. You know, you spend 200 bucks, you're gonna get something that performs very well, or they wouldn't have a price tag like that. This is not your run of the mill budget fishing rod. This is a high quality instrument and tool that you can use to fish with. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of EVA knobs, but these are pretty good. They're shaped just like the regular Abu Garcia knobs. So that is one thing I like. The shape, I guess, is the most important thing to me anyway. Right, just making little casts that are really precise is e very easy for this Roxani. So with this skeletonized reel seat here, you can feel almost everything. Like if you get a bite, you know you got one. There we go. 
That's a big one. Guys, this is a good one. It's pulling good. We don't know which side he wants to go to. Guys, this is a freaking tank right here. It's a good small mouth. He fought better than what he is. Heck yeah, I knew there was one right here. Freaking knew it. Look at that. That is a good smallie. Guys, if you have any questions about this Abu Garcia Roxani, hit me up in the comment section below. I, I believe this is a really good option if you're looking for a good, solid, high quality bait cast combo. You know, you're not going to be disappointed. So go to Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's. I forgot to mention that earlier. You can actually buy these at Cabela's as well because, you know, Bass Pro bought out Cabela's. So, you know, definitely go look this up. And if you want to get it one somewhere else, the Zeta is the model that you want to look for. And it's the same thing, but it's going to be in that army green. So, guys, if you like these type of reviews, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. That way, you know, if you like these type of things, you're going to come back and see more. And then also turn on that notification bell. That way you know when I roll out new ones. And, guys, keep it blue collar. This is high quality blue collar. And I hope you liked it. Thanks for sticking around watching this video.